Butch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddle Butch in another exciting adventure, Kangaroo Express. Australia, the land of kangaroos and bushmen, the magic land of seaports and deserts, the land down under. Through this desert and bush country, hopping and puffing and straining every valve, travels a little Australian choo-choo. Inside the tiny passenger car rides Clutch Cargo and company. And so the reason for our trip to Australia is to find the plane that was forced to land in this territory. We're at this point now. The railroad goes northeast to a point near where Jim Jim Creek and the Coolatong River meet. Then 35 miles directly west of this point is where we'll find the plane. Was the plane on a mission? Yes, very important one. The plane is loaded with treasure, Australian diamonds, thousands of them. What about the pilot? Is he there? No. He made his way through the bush country to a small place known as Quan Curry, an airfield used during the war. As far as I know, Spinner, we're the only ones who know about the plane. It's our job to bring back the treasure. And we must be careful. Did you hear that talk? That's Clutch Cargo and his pals, all right. And that's the map. That means we've got to think of some way to get our hands on the map. Right, Bad? Right. Just keep your eyes open. We'll find a chance. I put the map safely in my pocket. And remember, Mom's the word. Well, I won't say a word to anyone. I'm going to get a drink of water. I'll be right back. Now's our chance. Come on. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sir. The train must have jerked just then. Very sorry. Well, okay, but please be more careful. Oh, we will, won't we all? That we will. Come on, Paddington. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have been so abrupt. Did you get the map? Don't ask foolish questions. I'm in Ock, the best pickpocket in the business. Good. Now to unhook this car from the rest of the drive. No sooner said than done, that old boy. <laughs> what? We're slowing down. That's funny. No place way out here to stop. I'll take a look. No wonder we're stopping. Our car's been unhooked. And the map, it's gone. And we're stranded miles from the nearest settlement. Boy, does the wind ever blow out here? It's blowing the right way, too. Huh? What do you mean? You gave me an idea. I saw a big tarp and some line in the back of this car. Maybe that wind's strong enough. Working swiftly with a huge tarpaulin and line, Clutch fashions a homemade sail. Okay, Spinner. Let's hoist the sail and get underway. <laughs> Sure are, Spinner. Boy, we're sure picking up speed. But how are we going to stop? Here's our water stop. We'll pull off to the side in the back. Watch! It looks like the train has stopped. What are we going to do? We'd better lower the sail. Look quick. Look how he's done, Clutch. Brace yourself, Spinner. We're going to crash. Okay, Spinner. That train was on a siding. But while Clutch and Spinner worked feverishly to take off the sail, they failed to see the warning sign for Dead Man's Curve. Clutch! We're falling! How can Clutch and company avoid being crushed when they drop to the valley floor? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Kangaroo Express. You remember last time, Brad Billings and Ken Hawk had stolen the maps and cut Clutch and Spinner's car off from the rest of the train. Clutch rigged a sail on the car and they started sailing down the track. Butter, you're a goner. Wow, that was sure quick thinking, Clutch. Well, what do we do now? Sounds like the rest of the train overhead. 
They're leaving. They didn't hear us. No need to worry about that guy Cargo and his pals. We've left them. And just think, the treasure is all ours. Diamonds. Thousands of priceless Australian diamonds. Meanwhile, two hours have passed and Clutch and company have made their way back up the cliff to the top, pausing for a moment to rest. You suppose we'll ever get back to civilization? It may not be easy. Train only comes by here once a week. We'd better start walking. Wait, Clutch. Listen. I hear something. So do I. And by golly, whatever it is, it's getting closer. There it is. Look. It's a broken down old car. I wonder who it could be way out here. Oh, man. Swampy, you old desert rat. What are you doing here? Why, I heard you was a-coming, but when you didn't show up at the end of the rail line, I come looking for you. And you found us just in time, Mr. Swampy. Hop aboard. No time to lose. I got fiddles and water here in my car. I seen them two characters get off on the train and get into a Caterpillar Jeep. Right then, I figured something was wrong. Them two characters is wanted everywhere. I figured they're after the treasure. Now they had some kind of a map. Yeah, the one they swiped from me. Well, they got a good two-hour start. Going to be hard to catch. At this speed, yes. Would you mind, Swampy, if we took the tires off this old buggy and rode the rails? Galloping kangaroos, no. Let's do her. They lift the car from the tracks, put the tires back on, and head cross country. They can't be too far ahead now. By golly, look. Tractor tracks made by their tractor jeep. Follow them, Swampy. Now, now. Someone's following right in our tracks. Or bet it's that Clutch Cargo and his pals. There they go, Clutch. Over that ride. We can outrun that old Jalopy. I've got a better idea. We'll lead them over a cliff. Can't see them now. That's okay. Just stay on their tracks. Let them follow those tracks. When they come over that rise, they won't have time to stop. They went over that rise, Swampy. <laughs> Following those false tracks right over a cliff. Will they ever stop in time? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Kangaroo Express. You remember last time, Swampy had picked up Clutch and company and they had almost caught up with the cooks when Bad Billings made a false trail leading over a cliff. Grab the brake, Swampy. I did. Here it is. You want it? There they go. Buy your tickets here for the sky ride. Stop it, Ben. You're killing me. <laughs> Get ready for a sudden stop. I'm throwing out the anchor. Oh, me. That was a close call. Too close for comfort. Back her up, Swampy. Best gold darn car. Look at that. The motor never even stopped. Here goes. There's a road to the right, Swampy. It'll take us back on top. Those guys must have charmed lives. I hear tell the money from this valuable treasure in diamonds is going to be used to buy food and clothing for orphans everywhere. Right, Swampy. And nobody's going to disappoint them. Hooray, Clutch, you said it. We'll stop those two guys. See them yet? Not yet. Yes, I do. 
just coming over that little hill. Come on, Amelia! Uh-oh, in all the rush to catch Bad Billings and Hancock, Swampy has forgotten to check the gas gauge. It registers empty. Will they make it? There's the treasure flying ahead, Baddington. It won't be long now. We're rich, do you hear me? Rich! And now for the bags of diamonds. Sounds like we're out of gas. Ding, bust it, we are. Now what are we going to do? The plane's just ahead. If we can get to the top of that rise, we can coast the rest of the way. You take this bag and I'll take the other two. And hurry, we don't have much time. Heavy, Baddington, really heavy. There's that jalopy at the top of the rise, boss. Sounds like they're running out of gas. That means they'll have to use petrol from the plane. And I've got a great idea. We'll add some high octane. Oh, no, Baddington. You wouldn't not nitroglycerin in the gas tank. They'll be blown to bits. <laughs> Hurry up, Baddington. Here they come. There's the treasure plane. Yes, I see it. But I'm afraid we're too late. What do we do now? Miles from nowhere and no gas. What about the gas in the plane? Got a pail, Swampy? You bet, Clutch Boy. No way to warn Clutch about the deadly explosive nitroglycerin in the gas. Only Paddlefoot senses that all is not right. Calm down, Paddlefoot. Those crooks won't get far. Now that we've got gas, we'll overtake them in no time. That does it, Clutch Boy. Let's roll. <laughs> You and Paddlefoot take the back seat, okay? Poor Paddlefoot. His sixth sense tells him something is wrong, but what? Not even he knows what's in store for them when the motor starts. Give her more spark, Clutch Boy! She's not taking hold! Here goes! No, the nitroglycerin has blown up their engine. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Kangaroo Express. You remember last time, Bad Billings and Hen Hawk reached the treasure plane ahead of Clutch and Company. Bad Billings put nitroglycerin in the plane gas tank. Swampy transferred the gas into his car and... Quick, Spinner. Grab Swampy and help him in. Did you hear that boom, boss? Yeah. Our friends fell for that booby trap. And that's the end of them. We're flying! Best gold dirt gasoline I ever used! Look! We're catching them! We're catching them! Oh, there we are! We just passed them! Look out, Swabby. That mountain. Can't stop. Can't steer. Hold on. Whoa! and by golly, them ostriches can run 35 or 40 miles an hour. 
I've got to hand it to you, Swampy. Pretty clever. And look, he's following the tracks of that tractor jeep. Oh, they got a keen sense of smell, too. He found them tracks himself. We'd better really travel, Swampy, if we're going to catch those two and recover that valuable treasure. Leave her to me, clutch boy. Watch this. Get, Gertrude, get! Boy, she really started to run when you called her Gertrude. How come? All ostriches like to be called Gertrude. She's like parents like to be called Polly. This one sure likes the name. Look at her go. We'll take a shortcut through Kangaroo Pass and head off them crooks. Good, Swampy. They've got quite a start. Let's go. Some miles ahead, Bad Billings and Hen Hawk, thinking they are safe, leisurely continue on. Pretty nice country when you take the time to look around, eh, Hawkins? Yeah, especially when you are setting on a million dollars worth of loot. Whoa, Gertrude! Hey, this looks like a dead end. Oh. We're surrounded by Bushmen. Surrounded by natives. What will happen to Clutch and his friends? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Kangaroo Express. You remember last time, Bad Billings put nitroglycerin in the gas that Swampy used. The glycerin blew off the front of Swampy's car. Swampy then hitched an ostrich to the car, and the group headed through the pass, only to end up surrounded by natives. I, I hope they're friendly. I don't recognize the faces, but I've seen the hairdo. What are you gonna do, Mr. Swampy? Gonna try and talk with them. Flamba, zamba, umba, kumba. Higgle, goggle, fresh, fresh. Umba, kumba, danko, zumba. Chief, umba, kumba. It's me, your old friend, Swampy. Swampy, Swampy, why are you here? Got important business, Chief, umba, kumba. We come here to catch crooks who stole valuable treasure. We'd appreciate it, Chief, umba, kumba, if you could help us. Woggle, woggle, why not? This country is getting a mite too rough for our ostrich buggy. Maybe you could show us a better way to get across to Kangaroo Pass. Chief Umba Kamba, no keen way to get over Kangaroo Pass. Oogle, boogle, bam. Look, kangaroos. I've ridden bucking broncos, but never a leaping kangaroo. There's always a first time, and this is it. Chief Umba Kumba, we leave you our ostrich go-kart. Bamba, now we can ride in style. We'd better get going. Those crooks have quite a start. We're ready, Clutch. Wow, wow. Many thanks, Chief. We're off. Yahoo! I'm a kangaroo cowboy. <laughs> These babies can really travel. We'll catch them crooks before you know it. Confident that Clutch and Company had crashed into the mountain and wrecked their car, Bad Billings and Hen Hawk are on their way back with their stolen treasure. Nothing to worry about now, eh, Hawkins? Yeah, we can take it easy, eh, Beddington? Easy is right, but just wait till we cash in this treasure. That's when we'll take it easy. There's an old saying, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. And there's a lot of truth in it. We can gain six miles on them by this cutoff. Maybe we can see them from that next rise. After him, fellows. Look over there. A bunch of kangaroos. Oh, I see it, too. Just a flock of kangaroos. Wait. Kangaroos and clutch cargo and his pals. There's a creek up ahead and only one place to cross. We'll have to worry. They've seen us. Look at them go. Oh, yeah? Watch us go, too. After we cross that little bridge, we'll blow it up. Throw the nitroglycerin. They've blown up the bridge. I think the kangaroos will jump that creek. We'll try. Now let's catch those two crooks. Yow. Oh, no. We 
is up. Take them all. This is the end of the trail for you guys. The treasure's all here. Looks like our job's done. Boy, am I happy. So is Paddlefoot. <laughs> <laughs> so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Kangaroo Express. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo.